Yeah, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube tells me that 95% of my viewers did not subscribe. Please let me know in the comment section below how can I improve and win your subscription. New year, new semester. In today's video, I will be covering tips and tricks on how to maintain your Canvas dashboard. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Tip number one is to hide or unfavorite your courses from your dashboard just because you want to keep your dashboard clean and crisp and you can focus on the courses that you're teaching. So here is my dashboard and I have a couple of courses that I don't want to appear on my dashboard. So all I have to do is click on these three ellipses, click on the move tab and make sure I check unfavorite and click submit. Voila, the course is gone. Here's another course. I click on these three ellipses, click on the move tab. Click on unfavorite and click submit. Now, another way to select or deselect your courses in bulk is by clicking on your courses tab. Scroll all the way down to all courses. And here you have all the courses that you're enrolled in or you're teaching. If you see a star next to it, that means that appears on your dashboard. If you don't see a star, that means it's not on your dashboard. So to simply bring a course back, all you have to do is click on the star to hide it uncheck the star. This is another way to look at all your courses instead of doing one by one at a time. Now that we cleaned up our dashboard, the tip number two is to move your course cards on your dashboard. The easiest way to do is simply hold your course card and drag it and drop it wherever you want. So here is my pre-calculus, my stats class. I want my algebra next to my stats and all my classes that I'm teaching for this semester on the top. Another way to navigate is to simply click on these three ellipses. Click on the move tab and you can move this all the way to the top, move it all the way to the bottom, move up or move down. Tip number three is to how to nickname your course and change the color overlay. While we are still on these three ellipses, when I click on the color tab here, you have a little box to nickname your course. I'm going to go ahead and say Monday, Wednesday stats class. Why not? And I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And as you can see, the name has been changed. What if you want to go back to the previous name, go back to those three ellipses. Select everything and delete and click apply. It goes back to its original name. Now let's go back to these ellipses and change the color overlay. All you have to do is pick on the color overlay that you want. And as you can see, it kind of changes the shade of the color. I think this is too bright. Now, what if you don't like the colors that you see in Canvas and you want to customize your colors? You can do that by simply clicking on the website that I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. You can scroll down and choose the colors that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this color. All I have to do is copy it, go back to my dashboard and paste it in this color code box and click apply. And there I have it. Tip number four is to change or personalize the image of your Canvas course card. So let's go ahead and click on the course card here. And all the way in the bottom, you have your settings tab. And here you have an option when you click on these three ellipses, you have an option to remove an image or choose an image. Here you can select a PNG file, JPEG file or GIF. GIF. Till date, I still don't know how to pronounce it. So whatever that is. So let's go ahead and choose an image. When you click on Unsplash, you can actually browse the pictures from the Internet. I'm going to type in education and click enter. Here you have an option to pick any of these. Or when I click back on these three ellipses, choose an image. I can pick from my computer by clicking on this. And let me go to my downloads and pick a, pick a pre-calculus image. And there I have it. Now I can always go back and change it to... GIF, GIF, and click open. And here I have it. And once you're done, please make sure you click update course details so that your course has been personalized and updated. The last tip for today, tip number five, is your Canvas dashboard view. Did you know you can personalize your dashboard view by clicking on these three ellipses? Here you have an option of card view, list view, and recent activity. As you can see right now, I'm in card view where each of my course is a card. Let's go ahead and click on list view. 
And here is a list of your agenda or to-do list. This kind of brings everything together. If you are in a bunch of committees, clubs, and courses, all of your to-do list will be up here. This is too overwhelming for me, but if you're an instructor who are not in any of the clubs and you go by your agenda, this might be a good thing because this gives you your graded, ungraded assignments, everything that you have to do in your Canvas course. And when I click on these three ellipses, I also have recent activity. And as you can see, I have an announcement, 87 assignments and discussions. This might be good for students so they can see what the instructor has upgraded. Now let's go back to the card view. While we are in the card view, what I want you to focus on is the cards behind me. And I'm going to check on these ellipses. And did you know you can completely take off the color overlay? So let me uncheck this. And as you can see, I have the bright pictures coming or popping from the screen. This is, again, instructor's personal discretion. If you have a vision need, you might not want to take off the overlay because this might be too bright. But uh, depending on what your pictures are, you might want to have your color overlay or you might not want to have your color overlay. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned how to personalize your Canvas dashboard. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be an educator who might want to personalize their Canvas dashboard just like us. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas, and technology playlist. Do not forget to check them out and do not forget to comment in the comment section below what you like and dislike about Canvas dashboard. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.